Hey friends and welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the podcast and for my YouTube fans for Solo Sundays, welcome back to my channel. If you are liking the show on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so then every time a new episode launches, it is in your notifications. So you will know and be able to watch it right away. And for all my friends listening and on the go out there, I hope you had an amazing week. If you are on Apple Podcast, give me a five star rating and leave me a review if you could. That would be incredible. Thank you so much for always tuning in and all of your support on both ends. I really wanted to talk about this topic today because I feel that a lot of people have always asked me, it seems like you're always doing something. Like Stasi is always doing something. And it is true, whether it is to fuel my artistic side or whether it is to make extra side money, yes, I'm talking side hustles. So that's what today's episode is all about. It's all about side hustles and, and knowing what to look for and kind of understanding where and what to invest your time in. And I am a performer for all of those people who are always constantly listening and know this about myself, that if this is the first time you've been on my channel, know that like that was my past. I was always a performer. I My heart and soul goes out to all of my friends who are still pursuing Broadway and we just received the announcement that it's not coming back. Broadway is not coming back until May 2021. So if you have any way to reach out to the arts or to assist in your local community at a local theater company, reach out, don't hesitate to ask. And I know it's really hard right now because it's it's hard to give when we're not getting a lot and we don't know where our paychecks are coming from. But if you enjoy going to the theater, see if there's anything you can do, even if it's volunteering your time to call other patrons and see if they can acquire some money, they can give some money out as well. So you can always check in and see if there's anything you can do. My heart goes out to all my friends that do the arts. I know that during quarantine, a lot of things that we did was watch Netflix and watch HBO and watch, catch up on movies and all that. And all that is all artists. All that is all actors. And I think the harsh reality is a lot of actors have been asked, well, do something else in this meantime. And a friend of mine who was on the show, Jennifer Apple, had said, would you ever ask a doctor after all the training that they've done? I mean, she has a master's in performance. And she said, would you ever ask a doctor to just like stop being a doctor because the society doesn't need it anymore. It, it is really hard pill to swallow. And as a performer, I have always done side hustles. I've always had more than one job. I'm t taking income in so many different ways. So I wanted to kind of give you some things to look out for, for my friends out there that are in theater, that are, are looking for current jobs or current ways to make ex extra cash. So first of all, we all need to realize that we have a lot of value. And I need you to take a moment to write down the things that you have of value. Are you a dancer? Are you a singer? Can you play guitar? Are, can you play piano? Do you teach really cool acting classes? Do you love searching for monologues for friends or songs for friends? Do you play music on the side that that way you can record stuff? So there's so many things like we are a we have a bucket full of skills and I want you all to remember as an artist, you have so many skills in your toolbox. So let's start to pull them out and figure out how you can make some extra cash. Okay. So I, I think we need to all start to like get creative with that. So first of all, go pull out a pen and paper and write down on a piece of paper, five things that you know, you have a skill set of. Okay. So after you write down those five things, I want you to look at those individually and then let's start to get creative. So on top of that, let's get creative and think, okay, I'm a dancer. Great, let me break down just that in general. If you're a dancer, I judge dance competitions. Yeah, so judging dance competitions is a great way to go. Reach out to people, see who's doing stuff next. Definitely send your recommendations in, get a nice little bio biography of yourself and your work that you've done and put that together. If you're a dancer and you're also a choreographer, amazing. So start to reach out to dance studios in your area. See if people are willing to hire a new choreographer for people's solos. So then not all the solos look exactly the same for each studio. 
Are you a dancer and you're a really good coach? That's how I am. I don't love to choreograph as much. I can, it's a skill, but I really like to coach my dancers. So I reached out to anyone and everyone who absolutely looked up to me or aspired to me from any masterclass I ever taught. And I said, if you are getting ready for your classes, let me know, getting ready for your competitions and you're working on your solos, let me know. And then that way I'm able to break down your solo and make it more of a story. And that starts for me, I do a whole breakdown of how we can make the piece connect to them. Specifically, we go through each eight count and we talk about things. When there's a reach, they're reaching and they're reaching for something specific because I'm an actor as well. When they look one way, they're literally seeing exactly who they're supposed to see. They're seeing the, their outfit. They're seeing the expression on their face. They're seeing all the details and all it does is make it more specific. So their beautiful solo piece has more meaning, more weight, and they feel it more. They're not emoting. It's literally drilled into them. So that was a skill that I knew I had. I wasn't always the dancer with the most beautiful extension in their developé to second. If you're not a dancer and you don't know what that is, no worries. But if you do that stuff, there are different coaches for different things, right? So we have one umbrella and that's just dance. And I've already given you so many different examples you can go about. So you could be a dance competition teacher. You could teach a master class. You could uh, reach out to local studios. So these are ways to break it down. So we're doing the five pillars and slowly breaking down each one. If you're someone that plays music, reach out to your area, go on Amazon or go on Facebook Marketplace. That's like a great place to go to say, I'm currently in your area. I love, I am a piano player. Here's a little bit of a bio about me. Is anyone trying to teach their kid a new skill right now? Or do you have any piano players out there that need a new teacher? There are so many ways for us to make money as artists still and I want you to remember that you have to constantly say that to yourself every day. Please don't just sit on your couch and, and wait for something creative to come. We are creators so we must create money for ourselves right now. Yeah and I want you to remember that and it takes me a long time to remember that too. If you're learning a new skill for yourself, that's awesome as well. If you're learning a new skill, you might even be a better teacher to some people because of the fact that you're learning at the same time so you can teach what you've just learned. I got my yoga certification along with several of my friends got their yoga or their NASAM certification or some type of fitness certification because for me, whether we're in pandemic or not, that is a skill that I always will have. I always love to practice my yoga and why not share it with others? Sharing it with friends, sharing it with family. There are so many different ways you can go about that. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about a couple websites that you can go on. So another thing is to sell some of your stuff online. I know we all have things, we all have drawers that we need to get rid of stuff sometimes. And I opened a drawer the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, we have so many cell phones in this drawer and they're worth something. They are 100% worth something. And I looked it up online, again, getting creative, selling my devices online. There's so many places, so you can do offer up. They sell from cars to clothes, to accessories, to tools. You can do offer up, that's an app. There's also a website called Gazelle. So if you have a newer iPhone or newer iPad or MacBook, most of the devices are Apple, but I believe they have everything for Galaxy as well. But they actually are, depending on the condition of your phone, you're able to get roughly about like $135 for your device. And that's just sitting in your drawer right now. So I pulled out some of my stuff the other day. I made about $500 on Gazelle from selling old cell phones, from selling old iPads, anything that I wasn't using anymore that was literally just sitting in my drawer. And there was $500 there. Uh, another great device that my girlfriend introduced me to that I think everyone knows about now is Poshmark. So if you have some really fun clothes, designer clothes, if your old Lululemon doesn't fit you anymore, you can go all over the place. If you have something that's a little bit more of a um, not as desirable name brand, sometimes it's a little bit harder to sell, but not always. So a lot of people are doing stuff online right now. Like some people are still really not comfortable going in to stores and 
I had a, an amazing pair of Luchi, um, Luchi boots. They're original alligator skin. They just weren't my style. They were um, a size too large and someone had gifted them to me. They gave them to me and it just, as much as I wanted to love them, I didn't. They were probably retailed at like $1,600, which is insane to me. I would have never spent that much money on shoes. But again, it was a gift from me that was a gift to someone else. And I was able to sell them on Poshmark for $350, which again is incredible. Like these are all things that I just had in my closet that I was able to sell. I have a girlfriend who always goes out to thrift stores. She gets a bunch of stuff at thrift stores and she absolutely loves it. She goes to um, Buffalo Exchange all the time and she'll get all of her products there and then she'll wear them a few times if she realizes that she's had them for a bit and she's not really wearing them anymore. She throws them up there, but they still have such high value so she's able to sell them. You package it up, you send it off, you get your money in your bank. Like these are all ways that we can actually do some things that have value and are going to create revenue for us. And like another thing that I was doing too is you can create your own online course. So this is the time, this is the time. If you have excess time, this is the time. The time is now, stop waiting. And I want you to just go ahead and look at your website, look into a few websites and understand that it is so easy. I know a lot of us aren't tech savvy. I wasn't tech savvy. I started my own podcast. I learned as I went. I looked up videos. YouTube is a fabulous resource. Do not, do not miss out on the opportunities that YouTube can grant you as far as information. And I wanted to say from going through that, like I created all my stuff for this podcast all online, all from learning. So be creative, you can create an online course. There's plenty of people that do online courses to teach you how to begin a podcast or to teach you how to grow organically on Instagram. Beware of the fine print, learn as much as you can about each thing before taking the plunge and putting the money down for any of that stuff. I, a lot of these seminars, if you are scrolling through your Instagram and you see something and they they have a course online, that's something that you've been looking into because it'll just come up organically. That's just how the algorithm works. If you click on it and then you sign up for their course where they're like, we'll tell you so much more about it. And the course is usually somewhere between an hour to two hours long. The first hour is going to be some good information. Like I have some nitty gritty information that I got during COVID about Instagram about growing my podcast about all these things that I got for free first and then it'll have you sign up for a course afterwards. If it's something that you want to do, if it's something that's in your budget, go for it. If it's not, you just collected all that data and all that information to just help you get where you need to get for the next step. And it was again free. So learning and utilizing those resources in order to create your own in order to create your own online course, do that. Make sure it's something that you know and know well. It's a skill set that I was saying you have on one of those five pillars. And then there's all the fun ones, right? So everybody needed someone to clean during COVID, especially in the apartment buildings and whatnot. As basically, I guess you would call it a porter. That was what we, we used to call it. If you are a good cleaner, I would just reach out and start looking for that kind of stuff. See what's available on Craigslist. Ask your building manager if, if you don't already have one, but definitely go ahead and clean houses. Some people are going back to work. They don't wanna take their kids back to their preschool, pre-K, their daycare of sorts. So people are looking for at-home sitters. If you have a car and you, or you're in a city and you can take public transportation, reach out. There's so many different sitting sites, I mean babysitting sites, and then sitting sites. Look on things like rover.com if you're into dogs and you can create yourself your whole a whole profile. You can walk a dog and get your fix of like enjoying time with a pup, getting that, you know, getting those little belly rubs in and getting some money on the side. So just constantly doing those side hustles. And so the big reason my why that I do side hustles, you constantly hear this in several different 
um, I don't want to call them pyramid schemes, but I am going to talk to you a little bit about that. But you'll hear this word, what is your why? It's a consistent question. And what is your why comes from why are you doing this? So first of all, I want to say I am in two different sales positions right now, and they are both my side hustle, and I'm loving it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. If it's something that intrigues you, feel free to DM me. I can give you all the information about it. I'm loving it. But what I, my big reason behind it was I always was a person who was very into beauty products in general. My girlfriend, uh, <laughs> my girlfriend that I went to high school with and my other girlfriend, so there was a trio of us, and then this one girl from my dance studio literally all said to me the same thing when I joined these brands. And they said, I didn't even know what Sephora was or what Ulta was before I met you. Like I would go to the local drugstore and get my makeup from there, my hair products from there. And I didn't realize how bad some of that stuff was for you in the long run. And I understand like not everyone can afford everything that's a little bit more expensive, but I do say this, like this is not your practice life, this is life. And if you are someone who is trying to like eat clean and physically take care of your body and everything like that, why are you using products that aren't clean as well? So I'll let that resonate for a second because that's what I was saying with a lot of my friends. So. I always love the beauty products. I was always spending money on the beauty products. And as I was spending on it, my girlfriend called me up and she's like, listen, love you mean it, but why are you buying all these products from me full price? You should just sell them yourself. I was already putting videos up on Instagram about it. I was already making YouTube videos about it because I did really like the brand. And she's like, you can do all of this and then also make money off of it. Which got me really excited because at the end of the day, it was a great way for me to get a discount on things that I already loved and make money, make extra cash, have another side hustle. So the brand that I worked with first that I started with is Beauty Counter. And I know a lot of people know Beauty Counter. They actually just did a four month contract at Sephora. So if you've never tried it, you can actually go to Sephora now and you can look at it. I know Sephora is not allowing you to use testers at the moment due to new, the new COVID rules, but you can always ask a consultant to put something on themselves and they'll be able to show you what it looks like and what it appears like. and. There's just so many things about that brand that I just love. First of all, I never thought I needed a serum for my face and I realized, yeah, girl, you need a serum. And <laughs> I was looking back on pictures of me pre-COVID and I do have really good genes. Like, thank you so much, Aunt Jerry. My grandma, I call her Aunt Jerry, <laughs> but my grandma, like, thank you so much. And she's got amazing skin and my, my grandpa's side, like he gave me my nice lips. So I'm so grateful for my jeans. I will say that. And I understand that that is one thing that we cannot control, but we can control is a safer way of taking care of our skin. If you're someone that's into Botox, you go love it, like do your thing. I just really wanted to use safe, healthy, clean products on my face. And I want to read to you their little blurb here because Beauty Counter had opened in 2013 and they had been creating a gold standard for safety in the personal care industry. And they first started with this never list and the never list started I think with 1200 ingredients and now there's 1800 ingredients that are not in their formulas because they are all bad they're not you're not able to use them in other countries they're illegal they're not clean and they're not safe products so they're this it's a way for us to get the results that we're looking for whether that's clearer skin whether that's a younger looking skin whether that's um whether that's a little bit more like less oily and or adding more moisture to your skin if you have dry or oily skin but they 
are like they have sustainable packaging they are a leaping bunny certified they're just like really 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 clean products if you don't know anything about this and you want to learn more about them you can look at beautycounter.com and if you want to know about them with me please contact me i do sell the products so i know a lot about the brand and i just i really like the way that it feels like i just looked at my face pre-COVID and post-COVID and it just looks so good and I know that it was a time for a lot of us to maybe not wear makeup on our face but my my skin just feels so clear and the overnight resurfacing peel is like one of my favorite things and if you sign up with me you will get it for free in your basket so if this is something that interests you it actually like makes your skin cells um it, it gives them it strips them down so you actually kind of feel it working it strips down the old dead skin cells and it's going to give you like a natural brightener in the morning when you wake up i usually finish it off with this um, lotus facial mask as well and it's like a Vaseline mask so it like really makes my skin nice and moisturized and glowing like I have a nice glowing skin in the morning when I wake up I don't know I just I just really love the brand and it's something that I really like and it's something that I sell so if it's something that intrigues you and you also want to get into selling them DM me I'll give you all the details for that if it's something that you want to purchase also DM me, I can get you some extra discounts. We have some cute little holiday things going on right now. I know it's a little early to think about holiday, but I truly feel a lot of the shopping this year is going to be done online. So like, let's get it done now. Like get it off your list and just get it done and then get a few products for yourself in the meantime. So the other product, the other brand that I work for I actually, I'm gonna keep a little bit of a secret, but it is a product that they have a wellness program, they do have a face program, but I'm mostly in with them for the hair products. And the hair products are so, so, so incredible. And they have a, they're gluten-free, they're vegan, they're cruelty-free, they're 100% natural plant-based. So again, it's just like the Beauty Counter brand on that regard. And if your products are not any of those things, it's okay finish them off and then maybe look into something that's a little bit more sustainable for the environment and a little bit more clean friendly but they have a patent pending rejuvenique oil and this rejuvenique oil has 13 rare essentials that have a molecular structure that's small enough to pen penetrate your hair's cortex and actually restructure your hair from the inside out so i'm touching my hair right now because <laughs> I used to use Moroccan oil and uh, I mean all the other serums. I, there was one by Paul Mitchell that I liked. There's a Kevin Murphy one I liked. All those things, the problem with them is they're so heavy. So you even put a little bit in your hand and then you feel like you put it on and your hair looks really oily. So you just, you were looking for some hydration and now you got like way too much hydration. So the difference between them and this oil is this oil you literally do two little drops and you kind of just like wring it through your hair and i'm telling you it smells like very citrusy it's it's so delicious i'll be putting it on my instagram so definitely look out for that i'll do a quick little tutorial on it but you can also use it on your cuticles like my cuticles are super dry this time of year as we get into the colder weather and i can use it on there and they're nice and moisturized i can do a full hair scalp once a week because Believe it or not, I don't wash my hair <laughs> all the time. So sometimes I wait four days to wash my hair. But what I was noticing with my old products after putting in dry shampoos or, you know, products to make my hair look good for those four days, I would start to flake a little bit. It was super embarrassing. My hair would flake, I would scratch. I could actually see like a little bit of dandruff and I had never ever thought that I had dandruff. I just had a dry scalp. So now I'm able to use this oil and I just keep looking at my roots and every single wash, they're just getting more and more, like the follicles, you can actually see them just look so, so, so good. And these products are just different products because they don't just sit on your hair and coat them and clog like your follicles, like I said. It, that's what causes hair thinning at the end of the day. And you know, my boyfriend is someone who has the, some thinning hair in the front and he's able to use these products. I can't wait for him to come back from the Navy so we can do a tutorial and put it online, but you can put these hair follicles in and they're actually going to, from the inside out, get your hair healthier, thicker, more luscious, growing back. Like a lot of people have 
growth that they've lost. Uh, they, they're thinning on the sides and they've shown it in testimonials. So these products are absolutely outstanding. Like I'm not joking, but in order to know which the brand, what the brand is, please reach out to me because I'd love to give you more info on that. Because overall, once you know what the brand is, it actually is specifically designed for you. So I have my own hair cocktail, you'll have your own hair cocktail, I'll shoot you the quiz, I'll give you some more information about the products, but you will have a recommendation that's literally just for you. And then you also get like a bunch of freebies, which is great. So after your first purchase, you're getting several freebies and you're basically paying the same amount as you would be paying for your Pantene or your Dove or whatever store, like, store brand that you're using. And if you're like me and you were using Kirastas and already spending so much money, you're gonna be shocked when you see how much less you're spending and how much longer these products actually last. So if you're interested about the hair stuff at all, please reach out to me. Again, you can always find me on my Instagram. That's rumor underscore in underscore St. Petersburg. And you can also find me on Facebook at the luxury of self care. And other than that, I would just say, go out there and be creative. You're all creative souls. Figure out those things that really call to you. If you wanna jump on with my side hustles, guys, I was having so much trouble when we first got the cut of the additional money. For those of you who did get unemployment, I'm with you. I did as well. For those of you who did not, I'm so sorry things didn't work out for you. And I know at this time, it is more than crucial to have a side hustle. So if this is something that like is getting you jazzed and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get on the side hustle, please, please, please DM me. I'm telling you, it has helped me pay for my grocery bills. It's helped me pay for my, my electric and internet bills. It has helped me have some extra fun money to play with. It has made my hair better. It has made my skin better. If the, any of these things sound like something that you wanna do, if you need extra money for your kids, for their extracurricular activities, if you're trying to save up money for your Roth IRA, if you're trying to pay off your student loans, that's a great one. This is the side hustle for you. So seriously, reach out to me. Don't be afraid to do it. I know I've had my fair share of pyramid schemes in my early 20s. There's nothing that you have to buy into. I don't believe in that, but you have to believe in a product in order to sell it. And these are products that I was loving in the first place anyway, so it just made sense for me to sell it. If you have other products that you're constantly using, reach out to them. Say, do you need an affiliate? If you have products that you love buying on Target, create an affiliate link and launch those. Send that link out to your friends when they're like, where did you get those towels or those plants or whatever? Do an affiliate link on Amazon. It's super, super easy to set up one with them. So this is my little episode on side hustles. It kind of went all over the place, but mostly I wanted to talk to you about the two that I love the most right now, Beauty Counter and my need to know basis for my hair care products. So if again, if that's anything that you're interested in, do not hesitate to reach out to me and enjoy the rest of your week. I'm so proud of you all for keep kicking it and keep killing it out there. I know, I know, I know these side hustles are going to help us in this time. We have no idea how much longer this is going to last, but a side hustle is a side hustle for a reason. You always will be able to utilize that extra cash. Enjoy your Sunday. <laughs>